What inspired me to do this work and to open I3 Academy was I for years wanted to start a school from scratch and really focus on children who've not had the opportunity to attend a high quality public school where they have everything they could possibly need, including the greatest teachers imaginable, to show that children who live in poverty, children that live in inner city Birmingham, children that have all the demographics that people say causes them not to be able to learn to prove that they can. I3 Academy is actually one of Alabama's first public charter schools, which basically means we're a public school. We're open to anybody, any student who lives in Birmingham. We have an independent governing board and we're exempt from most of the rules and regulations that regretfully have held public schools captive, have held children captive for many years in education. And we're able to offer salaries that are higher than any public school in the surrounding area including Mountain Brook and Vestavia. We're able to offer a curriculum that's based on what the needs of the children are. Uh, it's just a very free and open and entrepreneurial type educational opportunity where teachers are hired to teach, children are given the opportunity to learn, and it's just a really happy place to be for kids. The good thing about this school is it's wonderful, it looks beautiful, and I really love this school. And the good thing is that I have a great teacher, I have a great principal, I have a great school, I have everything great, I have everything great on my life. I'm really proud of my life and I really like this school. Well, we, got, we have fun a lot and we get, to, we get to learn more than we did at our old school. And we have fun teachers. They, they give us a lot of work and it's fun and I like it really. It's amazing that as we were planning to open this new school and this facility, uh, we didn't have a faculty a year ago. We were able to do all of that in the middle of a pandemic and open successfully on August the 20th. Obviously, we had to open a little differently than we would have traditionally. So we gave all of our families three choices. You could either come face to face, you could do a hybrid schedule of two days a week, three days a week remote, or you could do totally remote and we gave them every four weeks, they can change what format they want to learn in. And just Monday, following the Thanksgiving holidays, we had our second group of around 70 kids come to school full time now. So we're approaching full capacity here in face to face. And uh, we put together a fantastic COVID plan that has kept our children and our faculty safe. And we've only had two cases that we had to quarantine just briefly during the last 14 weeks and have been able to successfully run school with no problem. We have 420 students here at I3 Academy in grades kindergarten through fifth grade. Uh, we're already beginning plans for a sixth through eighth grade middle school and a nine through 12 high school that will see these kids that are in kindergarten all the way through graduation. And uh, interestingly, uh, we had far more applications than we had room for with 420. We had 1,100 applications for students and families that wanted to come to school here. So the way it works with a charter school, uh, we had to run a lottery that is totally blind. Uh, there is no filter to start giving more people more weight than others. And 420 lucky families got in. Regretfully, we have a huge waiting list but we're in the process of planning our middle and high school and hopefully another elementary school down the road. What we want our children to know is regardless of the background that you come from, and we're a totally non-judgmental group of adults here, we welcome every child and every family, regardless of whatever challenges or opportunities they bring with them, that if you'll stick with us, we will make sure that when you leave us, you have choices about where you go next. Our hope is that as we build out our middle and high school, that every single child will be prepared for college and we will have a two-year program that will follow them after high school to make sure that they're successful in either two-year college, four-year college, or the world of work. But we want every child to know that the sky's the limit and we will make sure they have the resources and support and the quality education they need to be able to do that.